We have studied the use of atmospheric pressure plasma for the surface modification of polymeric substrates uh, and to enhance their, their adhesion. The aim of this study was to investigate the replacement of wet chemical uh, processes through an alternative, more friendly, uh, more environmental friendly process, namely uh, atmospheric pressure plasma technology. Atmospheric plasma technology allows us to deposit uh, coatings with unique properties uh, with typical thickness of a few tenths of nanometer and where no solvent addition is necessary. As you know, many uh, polymeric substrates are difficult to bind. Typical examples are polyolefins and uh, fluorinated polymer, which have very low surface energy. And um, it's important to find a solution to improve the adhesion. We have so uh, worked with atmospheric pressure plasma to try to incorporate specific polar moieties on a different polymeric substrate to increase, to increase the hydrophilicity through chemical functionalization. If uh, the right process parameters and the adequate chemistry are chosen, uh, you are able with this technology to create uh, unique uh, properties at the surface of the studied polymer. In fact, indeed, compared to um, corona treatment, uh, we have a much more homogeneous system, um, homogeneous coating, because corona treatment usually leads to heterogeneous uh, treatment of the substrate and also to instability of the functional groups brought at the, at the surface. So the, the, um, the effect of the corona treatment fades away in a few hours up to a few days. With the plasma treatment you have a controlled atmosphere. We are working usually with nitrogen for its cost impact which is lower than other gases and also it gives rise to a controlled atmosphere but we are not limited. We obtain in this case uh, an homogeneous treatment of the surface and uh, very stable properties in time. If we now look, uh, if we compare our technology with wet chemical processes, it's much more environmental friendly because no solvent are needed for this process, so no solvent burning, recycling, uh, no uh, VOC emission. Uh, so that's a, that's a cost issue, uh, an energy issue, so that's quite uh, interesting and we obtain uh, unique properties already with nanometer size coatings.